everyone, I hope you're well. Okay, we've got karma today, big karma. Your ex is stressed now. Somebody is very, very stressed. I've got justice and the world in reverse. What I feel this is about, like I always do, I'm going to go deeper to see what's going on in this reading. But someone is now paying the price for their actions. They are facing the consequences for something. I'm guessing that they almost thought that they could evade the truth, that they could either move away from something, leave something behind, without closing the cycle out in a fair and just way. This is someone who has moved on, but they haven't, like I said, closed the cycle out in a fair and just way. They thought they could run from the truth, they thought they could just go, you know, hop, skip and a jump, off I go, I'm not going to pay my debts or I'm not going to give anyone any answers. But they've got karma now. They have got karma because whatever they went to, whatever they thought was going to be successful, it's not. They've got some real setbacks in their life going on at the moment. So well, that's what I'm going to have a look at today. Just while I'm shuffling these though, thanks so much for all your likes, your comments, your subscribes. Um, so kind of you. And if you would like a personal read, just click on the title that's in the description box. Also the free relationship report as well. Okay, let's just see what's going on with Let's just see what's going on with this actual thing that's not working out. Let's just get a general energy here. Oh, yes. Something is... Something's about to implode where they are. Something's about to go off like a firecracker. A situation they've got themselves into. But the gist today of this energy is that they just thought they could go. They thought their lies would never catch up with them. Well, their lies are catching up with them now. Any specific plans that they've made have come to a halt. Yeah. They've placed their loyalty in the wrong situation. Somebody... they trusted the wrong people. they trusted the wrong people. There's a lot of hot tempers going on here. They're arguing with someone. I can see a lot of heated, heated arguments here. Yeah, their secrets are going to come out. The lies that they've told. The lies that they told when they, when they left or whatever happened. Because as you know, it's a general reading, so take what resonates. But their lies are going to come out. They just thought they could just go. They thought that they could just walk away without, you know, facing up to their responsibilities. But it's almost like the universe has just clamped down on them because their lies are coming out. Their lies are coming out. What else have we got, please? What else have we got, please? Yeah, they've definitely got poor communication over they are, you know, behind closed scenes, if you wonder what's going on, there's a lot of arguments, a lot of rows. They're looking for a way out because the person they thought, or the people they thought were going to be loyal to them, that they told all their lies to, and like, you know, again, that smear campaign energy, the people they told their lies to, are not on their side anymore. Yeah, this, the, the other energy I've got here today is, is somebody who was really focused on themselves, very focused on themselves. And specifically, if your person was trying to build something with their career, but left you with all the crap to deal with when they left they're going to have problems they're not going to reach their goals they're not going to reach their goals they have been so focused on themselves but specifically and that is quite specifically with a career 
they're not going to reach their goals. And if somebody, if they're waiting for, with justice as well, you know, with legal documents, anything like that, their lies are going to get caught out. So if you have any legal issues with them and you, you know, they, you know they haven't been telling you the truth, then, yeah, they're going to get caught out. It's going to come to light. It's going to come to light. They just thought they could get away with it all, and they can't. They can't, and they are so stressed, right, because they haven't got a way out of this now. They just haven't got a way out, because to come back to you, you know, I think to come back to you, then some secrets are going to have to be revealed. They're very worried, for, say, specific you know, worried, worried about their career. But I'm also going to see, just see what else they are. Let's just see what else they're stressed about. What else have we got? I've definitely got career, which obviously relates into money. What else, please? Stress. What's the stress here? <laughs> yeah, there's, um, there's a female I connected into. Um, who they thought they'd got a future with. And, you know, if they were building a business with this person, they thought it was going to go okay, but it, it's not. They thought this person was going to be loyal, but this person they've connected in with, or people, have always just had the eye for what they can get out of it. You know, it's a very selfish female energy. Um, and this female energy has completely pulled the wool over your person's eyes but because of the mess they left behind with you and they were they were disloyal to you they were disloyal and now they they're not really sure of a way out what else are they stressed about please what else is causing this stress Ooh. oh yeah oh oh right well this is quite straightforward we have the devil that's causing them stress. They've got themselves chained. Could be a Capricorn. They've got themselves chained physically and mentally to a situation which is very toxic in a nutshell. If they've gone to somebody, the personal energy they're connecting into is only concerned about their own agenda. That's what I said about this, this female energy, fire energy, Leo, Sag or Aries. That energy is only really concerned about their own agenda. And the environment is extremely toxic. Very, very toxic. They, they're very materialistic. And that is almost what, what they wanted. You know, they, they just saw almost like gold that was glittering. But it's not glittering now. Because we've got judgments come out. Again, card of the past. All the skeletons are going to come out of the closet. They've hit a crossroads. Um, but until they start telling the truth, okay, until they start telling the truth, and they're going to have to tell the truth at some point, then they will not be able to move on. They won't be able to move on and still, until they start admitting, facing the responsibilities, accepting that, you know, actions have consequences. But there's a lot of skeletons going to come out of their cupboard. Specifically, there's a lot of gossip around, around them at the moment. A lot of gossip. Um, a lot of spitefulness. Um, they're frightened of being slandered. They're frightened of being exposed, I'm getting. They want a way out, but they know <clears throat> if they do try and take a way out that they will be exposed. They will be exposed for what they did in the past. And that is what is really, really stressing them out. Plus from a, a career level and even if they haven't got a career it, it can you know relate into any financial investments they've made any financial investments they've made but I just see as well it's really quite 
take it if it resonates. I just see them having to hand a load of money back as well through the courts. I think I think something is going to be handed back eventually to the rightful owner. That, that there's going to be a lot of people or even just if it's your energy it's going to be handed back to the rightful owner and they know that time's coming because they're stuck it's almost like they've hit a brick wall it's like they've just hit a brick wall they can't go any further they can't get out of where they are they can't go back because of their actions in the past towards you they can't go back they've told too many lies and they can't go forward they're just stuck. And that is their karma. That is their karma. Massive, massive karma in this today. Let's just have a couple more. And then just see what um, advice I can get for you. Let's just see what else is going on, please. They didn't learn from the past. They've made mistakes in the past. But again, this is a past card that's just come out. They, they had a totally false perception on what really happened in your relationship. It's almost like they just had their own version of reality, which we all have our own versions of reality, but not content with having their own version of reality. They decided to tell everybody else their version of reality, which made you feel really low and sad because it wasn't the truth it wasn't the truth just two more please this has been a difficult connection for you because in a lot of ways you are so drawn to this person and there's so many ways you can compliment this person but it's just like that runner chaser energy for some of you, you are still bound to this person, possibly via children or something else in the physical. Yeah, some of you could have been married. Or if not married, you have had a long-term commitment with this person. They are looking back at the past. They do realise that a lot of the time you did compliment each other. But they just, I think it's, if they'd have just said, I want to leave, but they didn't, they had to make you out to be the bad person. But this person is emotionally and spiritually empty. You know, they've chased the material, they've chased the material things. And the person or people, like I said, that are in, that they're connecting into are not loyal but at the moment there's no way out for them and that's causing, causing major major stress because they haven't got an exit plan like I say they it's really weird because I just like the planets in March have really shifted in the last couple of days well Saturn's gone into Pisces now they can't go back and they can't go forward worlds in reverse this cycle is not over yet they have got to face the past and this is their karma and they will have to face the past because the truth will come out yeah bottom of the deck I just saw that I'm going to shuffle it but courthouse legal legal stuff truth is going to come out here They went for the money. It's almost like they they negated all the love they had with you for something on the material plane, whether it be money, a different house to live in, a new group of friends that made them feel good about themselves. But they've got a lot of concerns now. They have a lot of concerns now. They would like to message you. 
They would like to message you. But they're going to have to start telling the truth. Because they can't escape it now. I just don't feel like they can escape the truth now. Let's just see what the advice for you is. Let's just have a, a little look. Yeah, just be you know, the magician. You've got all the skills and abilities now to really manifest in your life what you want. You know, be strong, be brave, put yourselves first, build your boundaries, don't let anyone take you for granted. And with a magician, if it looks too good to be true, it is. You know, watch out for the red flags. It is an energy of somebody making out they've got more than they have, which isn't, you know, we all do that to a certain point. When you meet somebody new, you might tell a few little white lies, you know, but you don't sort of, um, you know, tell, tell massive, massive lies. And that energy, you know, is there. Just, just you know, beware of that. But you have got the power and the willpower to manifest into your life at the moment, whatever you choose to do. And it's saying continue on that path. Yeah, this person is going to come back out of the woodwork. You know, world re the world reverse. The cycle hasn't closed out yet. It's not closed out. And they're going to have to face the music because they just basically... <laughs> left without any closure and you, you know you'll all know your own story but the cycle's not over and next to justice the truth's got to come out and i don't think they're going to find it easy but they've got they've got nowhere else to go now they've got nowhere else to go now they're going to have to start facing up to what they've done and their problems but i do feel for some of you they will message you they will message you let's just have another advice card yeah just make sure they're not repeating the same cycle there's a repetitive cycle here um, and make sure that they don't come to you like in debt as well sometimes this energy of a person like I said they say they can do more than they can do like, I, I can do this for you, I can buy you this, I can give you this. And they paint an amazing picture, but really, in reality, they're quite lazy. Or they... They start something, and then they don't finish it. Um, and they're just repetitive in their cycles. Nothing gets finished. You know, nothing gets finished. And I think some of you... To be honest, I think you'd just rather be on your own. I think you've, ta you've taken a long time to think about this. This person left you feeling really lonely in this relationship, you know, isolated even. And you've taken time out now to really think about what you want. And that's where your energy as a magician, you know, you have got all the skills to pay the bills, as they say. You've got that power within you and it's been really hard for you to get to that stage. So that's the advice. I'll just see if I can get a best possible outcome because I have got, I say, I have got a message here. So they do want to and they will come in. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, just make sure that, you know, that it's not a cycle that's going to be repeated again or that they're not just bored where they are I'm getting to say best possible outcome please okay right I see them trying to come in Weirdly enough, I was thinking of Virgo energy when I was saying about you going inside and, and reflecting on yourself, and that's what's come out. That's what I was seeing the hermit. I think you, the overall energy today is, if some of you, yeah, you know, you will be willing to 
hear your person out but you will be guarded you've done a lot of healing again you've got the star it's a manifestation card you know your wishes even if they're not there now if that's if you know what you really really want is going to come in for you it's going to come things things are going to shift and your energy is like the hermit mode you know you it's almost like you just want to be left alone you know some of you are still healing um, this has been very raw for you. You know, you lost everything in some cases and it's been really, really raw. And like you've been finding yourself. And it's almost saying carry on down that path. Um, but this energy of the other persons, they do still hold a torch for you. <laughs> They hold a torch for you and they are still optimistic that you could, in the future, reconcile. But you, but you, I feel, will examine it with a fine tooth comb before you do anything. I've got a strong, like I said, I've got Capricorn, I've got Aquarius, I've got Virgo, um, and the fire signs as well. I see you meeting someone else. I see there's a new person coming in for some of you. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. If if your person, if it's your if your ex coming back in, they are going to come in with an offer of something. But you know, the Ace of Pentacles. It is you know it's a new beginning, and it's important to make sure that it's not just pillow talk that there is actually something to substantiate this because you you don't want to end up back in the eight of swords energy where you couldn't you couldn't see a way out of this you know some of you could have even been slightly controlled by this person slightly isolated by this person and that's what spirit's saying you know consider this you you're on the verge of something else and your person needs to tell the truth and be honest about what they're going to bring in when they come back so quite a mixed bag there but we have got new love as well in here knight of cups ace of pentacles so if you have met somebody and you're wondering very very positive very very positive so I hope that helps someone like I say I hope you're all okay thanks so much for watching personal read click the title it's in the description box free relationship report look after yourselves so you don't want to end up back in the eight of swords energy because I feel a lot of you even over the last few months are getting getting what you deserve because you do deserve it in life you do so I'm sending you loads of love and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.